Hi guys, welcome back to this uh, lecture. Okay, after deploying your KVM environment, uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, networking. Okay, by default, one of your environment has been deployed. Uh, the KVM em environment uh, uh, install or configure a default uh, virtual switch. Okay, in bridge mode. Let me show you. For instance, if I do IPA, okay, we will see this uh, virtual bridge zero. Okay, and uh, this virtual bridge is within uh, a uh, an internal network range. Okay, to see this virtual uh, switcher in within the KV environment, just hit the hit the command virtual net list. Okay, and uh, you will be able to this, to see this uh, virtual switch. Okay, and uh, don't be confused. The default is the name of your virtual switch. Okay. And uh, this one is the interface of a switcher within your environment. Okay, don't so don't be confused. Let me show you again. Virch net edit and uh, the name of the virtual switcher and you receive a configuration with the internal configuration of the virtual switch. As you can see, the name of your virtual switch, okay, and uh, the bridge, the interface name, if I can express myself like this, okay, the interface name. Okay, as you can see there, and this interface has the, the first IP. Okay, when I will deploy a new a new interface or a new when I will connect a new virtual machine to this bridge to this virtual switch, okay, I will get a new interface that will be listed here. Okay, in this list, I will get a new interface connected here. If I have a new a new virtual machine connecting to this uh, virtual switch okay so but le first of all, let before go ahead let's create a new uh, so two brand new virtual machine okay and uh, before create it uh, let me show you an architecture about what we will do we will create right now a uh, two switch uh, two switch okay this cluster switch and an internal bridge switch okay a bridge switch okay a and uh, a management switcher which will be uh, configured specially for the network address translations okay network address translation will be uh, configured for this second switch and the first one it is just uh, a switcher in bridge mode okay 100 percent of bridge mode switch okay to permit uh, to any virtual machine uh, to be connected on it uh, to perform the communications okay so let's go ahead and uh, the configuration of this switch okay this cluster switch or this uh, default bridge switch will be there see the, the configuration of this switch as you can see we have uh, an internal dscp uh, configuration that has been uh, assigned to this uh, switch okay and uh, to permit to any virtual machine connected on this uh, switch uh, to get an ip address uh, within this range okay so we will create, we will create uh, this first virtual switcher and the creation is pretty, uh, pretty simple, very simple. Just uh, let me clear this face. I will have to create uh, a new uh, file. Okay, let me see. I will create, uh, give this name to this file. And uh, next, I will copy and paste of a command. Okay. So, ah yes, let me choose a, choose another another editor. Okay, because this one is not suitable for the annotations. I'll choose Neno. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, we have the IP address of your virtual switch. This IP, okay, is the first IP of your virtual switch, okay? And uh, others, uh, virtual machine will get an IP address within this range, okay? For the DSAP uh, configurations. Great. Okay, also declare, okay, we can uh, Create uh, our virtual machine uh, within the KV environment. Row this command, which uh, net define and uh, the XML file. 
Um, great. Okay. So now the, the, your network has been defined first. If I hit the command virt net, okay, list, okay, dash dash all. You can see that uh, your your virtual switcher is there and uh, it is a uh, it have an inactive state. Okay. Okay, and uh, the auto start state is at no. That means that uh, first of all, let's start off the let's uh, start off the virtual machine. I restart this. This is the name of the virtual machine that you have to start. Okay. Clear. Yes. And now let's hit the command IPA. You will see that so this interface appear here, okay, and uh, the IP address, of, the first IP address of your virtual switch, okay. Let's go ahead, and uh, I didn't mention it to it about uh, your the MAC address of your virtual of. Let's go ahead. Clear. Let me clear a bit the interface. The next steps, okay, to do, if I go back to the command, as you see before, now the switch, the virtual switch has been start starting up, okay, and the, the auto start status is unknown. What is uh, auto start status? It permits to you, if your physical server reboots, okay, to automatically boot off your, your virtual switch, okay. If you don't do that uh, at the boot time, so your virtual switch will not uh, starting will be start not start, and uh, you get an issue or your to your different virtual, virtual machine now, uh, right, which will be connecting on it. Okay, so you have to put it at auto start mode. To do that, it's very, to do that, it's pretty simple. Let's auto start, and uh, the name of the virtual switch. From there, it is now okay. Uh, it is at uh, active uh, and uh, auto start state. So that's great. Okay, so after deploy our first network, okay, and uh, also the default network that has been deployed by default. Let me go back with uh, uh, net uh, dash list. Okay, we have uh, those two network. Okay, this network has been configured as a bridge and uh, network address translations. Okay, as you can see it here. Okay, so has uh, a forward mode for network and uh, attached network. So all the requests that will come into this net switch will be uh, redirected to the internet or to the external network simply okay let me go back great and uh, other things to show you uh, is a net um, dscp lease uh, and uh, the name of uh, um, okay let me uh, let me show you another command. Okay, it is a uh, DSCP net lease leases. Okay, uh, I will just miss. Okay, so here when you will have a new virtual machine connected to any of those network which have which have the dscp internally enabled we receive all the ip addresses signed up by this particular uh, switch okay and if i want to you can do the same thing so for the this other networks simply okay at each time that we have a virtual machine connected to this uh, networks okay to this networks you will you will have an IP address or a sign up to this uh, virtual machine, and uh, you can retrieve uh, or you can see the IP address there. Okay, as the expiry time, the MAC address, uh, the, uh, the protocol used, uh, and uh, the IP address is signed up to the name, the host name, and uh, the client ID. Okay, which is very important to know what uh, or which types of IP address are being signed up 
to my virtual meeting okay so that whole of for this uh, part and thank you very much and see for for the next lecture what we will talk about how to deploy virtual machine in your environment thank you very much and take care